Hi guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to remove syskey from your uh, virtual machine and or even your computer if you really would like to do that. This is, I literally just finished this uh, video here and as you can see I'm running a virtual machine here and it is running Windows. Uh, currently I do have, or I do not have syskey on this one, but uh, I'm just going to teach you guys how to do it anyway because uh, it, it's a pretty simple pro uh, thing. Or, it's complicated if you... Uh, I don't really explain it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to teach you this, how to do that, and this. Um, what's it called? Siski. Which just instant, which just brings you back to this. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to install... Where is it? Well, first off, let's just exit out of my virtual machine here. And we're going to go to virtual box and as you can see if we go to settings here if we go to sys, sys storage uh, we have our drives here and everything and we have a port right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to your empty port right here name it or label it this if you can and you're gonna go and download Kali Linux 2016 1-amd64.iso has, has to be an ISO or else, uh, I, actually, I think it, I don't really know. I don't, I'm not sure it has to be. And you're just gonna, hold on. Make it an ISO. I'll link all the downloads down in the description for you guys, and you can be able to get it. So you're gonna go ahead and down it, download it, and you're gonna add it here, which by clicking this button right here, and then clicking uh, add Kelly Linux. And then you're gonna click OK. And now, as you can see, storage. You have optical drive, Kali Linux. You're gonna make sure you're opening from that. Um, I think it's already set to do that. So we're gonna start it here, and we're just gonna wait for the virtual machine to load up. Um, if it doesn't work, you can just load up the boot device and uh, change it to whatever uh, uh, this was. Hold on. So here we have all of our options. We're gonna go down. Well, hold on, this is just a question. Alright, we're gonna just click Live AMD 64. Make sure you click this and not anything else because I don't know anything else but this one. And you're just gonna, you know, wait here. And everything's just loading up. And it should take a decent amount of time, but not too much of your time. Uh, if it takes up too much of your time and it uh, has a problem at the end, just go ahead and restart. And if it doesn't work, then just drop a comment and I'll try to get, help you guys out as much as I can. Okay, once it's running, what you're gonna need to do is have your uh, a dot exe. Well, we're gonna do the CMD first. So you're gonna have to have a .exe that does absolutely nothing, or that does a uh, say like a whatever command that you want. The reason mine had an error, to be honest, was I didn't have like a system pack and I downloaded it, and then it went through this whole entire process and it still didn't work. But I really don't care about that. Um, I just wanted to have it in the first place, just so they can't run CMD and it'll cause them some trouble. So you're not gonna open up. I don't know why I just opened. I have no idea how this works. Let's see if root works. Okay, I mean tree, I don't even know why. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you're gonna go ahead, open up files, make sure you have your .exe on here, and uh, you're gonna go to other locations, click computer, and you're gonna go ahead and uh, find your .exe. Uh, I already have one, so I'm not gonna do that, but I mean, oh wait, hold on, I'm sorry guys, I made a mistake. Where is it? Uh, and, and once you're here, you're gonna go to user, and then uh, just find all your stuff here, and or you can just go to when uh, ah, there's a whole process. Just get your .exe out, and then you're gonna move over to 49 gigabyte volume, and wait for this to load. It's gonna show up here, and it should be fairly quickly if it doesn't work from whatever. You're gonna go to oh, I'm sorry. Uh, put your .exe on your virtual machine and then load it through your account here so you're gonna copy it here or whatever and then you're gonna paste it 
You're gonna open, come back, you're gonna open up windows. Then you're gonna find out where dot or CMD is. So you're just gonna click on an app once and then type CMD. And then you'll find it. Uh, just wait for it to load. And then, as you can see, I have CMD.exe. That if I load it, actually, I'm not sure it's gonna work out here. The whole entire uh, script comes up, which I believe is encrypted. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna come back. Sorry. Oof. Uh, do not update it. Okay, so you're gonna come back and just paste your uh, other file into here. Make sure that it's named cmd.exe, or else this uh, will not work and cmd will just be replaced. It will not be replaced. Um, it'll just be changed. So yeah, actually, I think I think it, did I get rid of the other one? January 19th. Okay, anyway. And to get rid of Siski is a very easy process. You're going to do the same like you did with a CMD, but instead you're going to type system key. Or not system, but syskey, like this. And not for me, nothing's showing up, but for you, something should show up. I have syskey.exe, which uh, I think I just named it to something really fucking stupid. So it's nothing actually like... Thank you. I'll load this up for you. Yeah. So there's no actual like source for it, and syskey will not open. But you're gonna have to delete all the syskeys here. So uh, just to do this, I'll delete it. I don't really care. And then there you go. Your syskey. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, owner. Should be root. Anyway, mine worked, so you're just gonna delete it, and it should work because basically what Linux is is it bypasses the disable on your Windows. So there you go, it's all removed now. And once you're here, now you don't have syskey, and you have changed your command prompt. And just to prove that that worked, or actually, here I got an idea. Just to prove to you that this works, I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna type in CMD, and I'm gonna get rid of that other program. So now nothing will show up. Uh, this one too. Okay. Yeah. So now nothing will show up when I move back to Windows. So you're gonna exit out of this, shut it off. Uh, make sure you just click power off from here, because I, I haven't really tested with anything else, but I prefer shutting off from the computer. You're going to go back to settings, and you're going to remove the Kali Linux, or else it'll just boot right back up from that, so just remove the attachment. Ooh, wait, hold on. Oh, I fucked up. Add attachment, I should say. Where's the add attachment? Uh, Ooh, I did something wrong. Oh wait, here we go. Should be. Okay, so now you're just gonna go here, click remove, and it should say empty. Sorry about that. I just had a problem there. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna have Windows loading back up. And Oh, I'm going to show you that CMD, in fact, does not shut down or uh, open properly, and it's going to probably come up with some sort of error message, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just gonna skip the disk check because obviously I don't have files and if it checks they're gonna see that I don't have files and then we're gonna go through a whole entire issue. So you're gonna try to avoid any like file scanning or anything like that. So as you can see if I open up CMD, 
the only thing I'm gonna see is the one that was on the desktop a while ago that I created and not the actual CMD for System32 or, and if you know what just to prove to you oh, I don't know why I just opened that um, just to prove to you that it does completely remove it from System32 I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna check System32 for you which is here and we'll go all the way down to C not even gonna type it cuz you never know some people and as you can see there's no CMD if you don't believe me you can I mean there's con con host huh. oh that's okay I'm gonna take fault for that I should have deleted con host but you can do that anyway if you guys would like to see more videos like this let me know uh, and you know what guys to be honest this is my first tutorial and I, I know it's pretty shitty not gonna lie but if you guys you know could support it somehow that'd be great thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time